I want to marry you. Are we still talking about peanut butter? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Julia, and today we will be trying all of the peanut butter I could find. This is content that none of you asked for, and yet, here it is. What's up guys? I'm here. We're at Denny's Diner, Staten Island. It's gonna be a lot of PB. Get ready, get your spoons out, and come eat along with me. Today we have four categories of peanut butter. First one up, the peanut butter spreads. These are the spreads that are 90% peanuts plus whatever else is in there. A lot of them use hydrogenated fats, which have been shown to be not good for us. Instead, we got some of these quote unquote natural peanut butter spread alternatives, which instead of hydrogenated fats tend to use palm oil. Our first not so fun fact, palm oil production is linked to a lot of environmental impacts. There's the concerns of deforestation, concerns of reduction in biodiversity because we're cutting down trees where these animals live to plant palm trees, which yes, it does yield up to 10 times more oil than other vegetation oils, but is it worth it? Let's give them a taste, shall we? Okay, before we head into round one, I think we're gonna do something really fun today. For me, at least, I don't know about you guys. But I think we're gonna do a blind taste test of them. I like to think of myself as a peanut butter aficionado. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm gonna give you my unfiltered thoughts. One of the most satisfying things is that smooth, smooth surface of a brand new jar of processed peanut butter. Points off for not peeling smoothly. I've been training for this my whole life. Peanut butter one. It smells very processed. <laughs> you better eat quick. <laughs> Did it grip? I can't tell. We'll find out later. Uh-oh. It reminds me of Skippy's, but looser. It has very toasty notes of peanut. It's sticking down in my gullet. Just the right amount. Obviously crunchy. It's not very sweet, but there's definitely sweetener. It's a little oily for me. I'm gonna give this one a seven. I think this one is the one with the baseball players on it. Mm. And it definitely tastes like it has added oils. Is it a crunchy or a creamy well, It's butter? definitely a crunchy. Was I right, Aaron? No. <gasps> Holy schmoles. Wait, that one, then it might have been Woodstock. In which case, ew, not buying that again. Not worth it. Next round. Ready? I don't, why don't I smell anything? <laughs> oh my God, this is Jif, isn't it? <clears throat> Jif never smells like peanut butter. It always smells like sweetened cardboard mixed with fat. It's super chunky though. Is this Skippy's? Wow, uh-uh. If this is what Skippy's is now, my heart is broken. I don't broken. think you like it. It doesn't taste like peanuts, guys. It tastes like frosting. I think because of how chunky it is, it is the Skippies. Is it? Oh, mm. <gasps> wow, I'm failing. If this is the peanut butter and co one. Not gonna lie, I'm getting so mad at myself right now. Next. Oh, I didn't grade the last one. The last one gets a five. All right, round three. Okay, this one smells a little bit more like freshly roasted peanuts. It almost smells like peanut shells. It's very sticky and sweet. This one tastes like it came from real peanuts. There's like little bits of brown bits that probably came from overly toasted bits. It has a more homemade feel to it. I want this one to be the Peanut Butter & Co. Is it? <clears throat> this one is a 7.8. Wow, I'm getting none of these right. <laughs> Four. What does it smell like? It reminded me of toilet paper from the bathroom. Ugh, I don't know about this. Oh, so slick, so frosting like. If it wasn't Skippy's before, I feel like this one has to be Skippy Super Chunk. Yeah, you finally got one. <laughs> it is just so slick with that kind of slightly fluffed aerated texture of like whipped peanut butter, but it still has that kind of oiliness to it. Can I also just say, mm. that's not super chunk. Look at that. That's almost no chunk. I don't even want this one for later, Aaron. Skippy's, what happened? 
I used to love you. That one is like a 5.5. Yeah. Heartbreak. Is this five? Yeah. Where is it? It's on there, I promise. There's BB on that spoon. Why don't any of these smell like pungent peanuts? Like roasted, delicious, nutty peanuts. Mm. Very fluff-tastic, very whipped, super creamy. This one I think is Jif. In which case, I actually like this Jif because it just doesn't taste like pure frosting. I'm gonna give this one a 7.8. Is it right? Did I get it right? Is it Jif natural? Jif better than Skippy, confirmed. What are we up to now, six? Yeah, two left. Okay, so far, I think Jif wins? That's so random. Okay, I'm starting to smell a little bit of like peanutty shell fragrance. Open your mouth wide for this one, it's a little drippy. <laughs> well, if you said it's drippy, this one is the home plate one. Made for athletes, apparently. This one is nice. Did I get it right? Yeah, founded by pro baseball players seeking a better peanut butter. Power life's best moments with the nostalgic taste you love and the simple ingredients you want. It's really nice and smooth, guys. It's like super luxurious. It's like thick. It coats your entire tongue. It coats your entire mouth. This is what I remember Skippy being. That's the winner so far. I'm gonna give that one an 8.2. Love it. Good job, home plate. I don't know if I'm an athlete, but I'll eat it again. This one smells like plastic. A little bit of like a rubber eraser on your pencil. Oh, wow. Super creamy. Super sweet, what? This one is like candy. This one reminds me of what peanut brittle tastes like. That is peanut candy. Is that peanut butter and co? Smooth? Smooth operator? Y'all are putting way too much sugar in that. Freaking delicious though. If you love peanut brittle and you love peanut butter, that is like what bam baby. Whatever I gave the last one, let's give it 0.2 down. Maybe just don't do a natural option if you're not gonna do it good. We're never gonna get sponsorships from those companies now. RIP that dream. All hey, right, Aaron, give me a rundown of what was what. First, we tried the Woodstock and you gave it a seven. After that, we tried the PB and Co Crunchy. I'm so disappointed, guys. So freaking disappointed. That next, the uh, NPO I wrote down, Nature's Promise Organic. Yeah, this one is great. I got this at uh, the local stop and shop and I don't know if this is available nationwide, but I thought this one was delightfully peanut buttery. Skippy, 5.5. Oof. And then I intentionally gave you the GIF next, which you gave a 7.8 to compare. Peanuts, sugar, palm oil contains 2% or less of salt and molasses. Maybe that's what made this taste really nice. And home plate, 8.5, the best one of the bunch. This is truly peanut buttery. Perfect balance for me. And PB and Co Smooth 8.3. Not bad. If you love candy, great. Round two, we're gonna taste the natural crunchies. Now, if I did a smart thing, I would have set them upside down last night so that all the oils can kind of float to the opposite end of the jar, but I didn't. So we'll have to do a little bit of a careful stirring operation. I was holding the wrong jar. This is the crunchy jar. We're gonna do crunchy next. Oh, make Ooh. sure that's safe. I'm gonna test if there was poison in it. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. This round is gonna be a drippy mess. I have full confidence that this round will taste better. Full confidence. Fun fact, did you know that Aztecs and Incas were the first recorded uses of peanuts in such a way that it resembled peanut butter. It's a treat as old as time. For our natural chunky peanut butters, we have both organic and non-organic. I'm very excited to see if there's actually a difference between them. Which one tastes better? Number one. Oh, I should probably use two hands, huh? Immediately, this one smells so much more peanutty than any of the other ones in the previous round. It's got the fattiness, it's got the earthiness, it's got the starchiness, it's got that peanut shell that's toasted, freshly toasted, maybe a little bit of salt. Mmm, what a breath 
of fresh air. Super liquidy, super oily, but it's none of that like slick oil that's separating from the peanut itself. Pure peanut. You can see the brown specks from the skins of the peanuts probably. It's almost like if you use real peanuts, real only natural ingredients, then that's what it tastes like too, real and natural. It doesn't taste sugary, but it tastes sweet and it's just so balanced. I'm gonna give this one a nine. I've actually no idea which one this one might be. I'm just going to guess that this one is a Santa Cruz light roasted. Did I get it right? <gasps> I'm so happy. Santa Cruz, baby, you are doing something right with those organic peanuts. Ready for secundo. What language is that? I don't know. What language is that? I don't think it is one. Ooh, this one has a very different smell, guys. This one is toastier, darker. It kind of allures you into that wood cabin in the middle of the night with a blistering Dark fire. Down. Wow, I feel like I'm on a sexy remote date. I want to marry you. Are we still talking about peanut butter? <laughs> this one is so smooth. Straight off the bat, I know this one has zero salt. Zero. Am I right about that? I'll close my eyes. It is just pure. Correct. It is just fatty. One, one ingredient, peanuts. The chunks of peanuts in there, very, very soft. This one, I'm gonna give a 7.5. I love the texture. It's very sticky, but the flavor is very mild. And I like my peanuts to be like super nutty, you know, like just toasty. I'm going to guess that that might be Brad's. You're right. Holy sh! Is there palm oil in this that we don't know of? I don't know. I'm just not crazy about the taste. It's fine. June is spish. Brad's is sus. Round two, candidate number three. Mmm, okay. We're back to that roastiness. We're back to that smelling the peanut skin and smelling the peanut shell and smelling a little bit of that roasting drum. This time it's autumn. The wood chips underfoot are slightly crispy with the drying air. How are you so good at this? And it's nice. It's like a 69 degree day. Nice. Why do you want to do that? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, mmm. It is sticky, but it is not gluey. It is oily, but it is not unpleasantly slick and separationed. It's got a nice amount of toastiness. It's not as darkly toasted as the first one that we tried, which I still think is the best one that we tried. I'm gonna give it a 7.7. 7. It's sitting a little bit heavy down my esophagus. It's like slowly making its way down there. I know it's natural. I know it's good. It's just not my one true love, you know? It's an okay day. It's pleasant. I'll go in for six dates and then we'll just either be friends or never call each other again. Is this the once again? Mm. Oh, dang. First miss of this round. Gimme, give gimme give more, gimme give more, gimme, give gimme give more. Mmm, this one smells sweet, darling. This one smells like praline straight out of the factory. A little bit of like sawdust underfoot at that factory. People are nice, they're waving to you, they're smiling underneath their masks. You can tell because their eyes are bending downwards in that little crow's feet formation. Interesting. I winced not because I didn't like it, but because the crunchiness is very gritty in this one. All of the crunchy pieces aren't just like a solid piece. They're kind of worked into the entire butter in different sizes. There is salt in this one. It is delightful. I might like this one the most. I love this gritty texture. It just feels fresher and raw. But the taste itself is not raw. The taste itself is very, very toasty. That vibe is just like, yes, I'm hippie. I'm friendly, I'm bougie a little bit, and uh, I like who I am. I'm gonna give that one a 9.3. I really want to believe that that one is Kose, Sweet Ella's Organic. <gasps> Guys, delicious. You have one of the smallest jars, but man, worth it. That is delicious peanut butter. You do you, girl. You keep going. 
I'm gonna buy you again. Fun fact, did you know that it takes less than five gallons of water to produce one ounce of peanuts as opposed to 80 gallons of water for one ounce of almonds. Second fun fact right now, because I don't wanna eat any more peanut butter because my stomach is starting to protest. Did you know that it takes about 720 peanuts to make a one pound jar of peanut butter? So that means that in my house, there is currently the ground up corpses of approximately 20,000 peanuts. Which round are we on now? Five. All right. Ooh, this one goes even nuttier. It goes even sweeter. The oils are kind of lifting themselves off the spoon and into my nostrils, and they're just weaseling their way up into my eyeballs and my brain. Sorry, is that too graphic? Mmm, this one is nicely gritty too. I have thoughts. It gives me that feeling of like, I almost think this is too thick, but it just pulls itself back. The only thing that I don't like about it, because it is very similar to the last one that we tasted, is how much salt there is in this. It makes my tongue hurt a little. I'm sorry, I think this is one, this one is gonna be an 8.7 for me. Who are you apologizing to? Whoever made this peanut butter, because it's delicious, but I it's just that. too salty for me. I'm gonna guess that this is um, Woodstock. No. <clears throat> wow. I'm deciding which one to give you, so it's best to trick you. <laughs> nice and pleasant. I would say this is the most standard peanut butter smell that we smelled so far. Mm. This one's not hitting it for me. The texture is very nice. It's creamy. It's a little bit almost like soupy. It could or could not be that we didn't mix it well enough, but the pieces of peanuts in here are also very confusing for me. They're not quite crunchy and they're not quite gritty. Kind of mediocre as far as the ones that we've tasted. Woodstock. Nope. Damn, that one gets a eight, straight eight. It tastes plasticky to me too. Last one? Yep. This one smells a little bit under toasted to me. Mmm, okay, super chunk. I love how chunky this one is. Also super thick. I also love the color on this. I wish this were roasted just a little bit deeper, but I like it. I'm gonna give it a nine. Which one is that? Are you, do you have enough info to process elimination? That's it? Teddy. Nope. <gasps> I'm so surprised. Who the was the loser? One. Who was the loser? The loser was Crazy Dicks. Oh no, Richard. You lost my baby. 7.7. But look, that they're a purpose-driven company. Their mission is to offer affordable, wholesome foods. Maybe their mission should be to make better peanut butter. Oh, I'm sorry. There was one lower. <gasps> Brad's. 7.5. This peanut butter expires in 2023. What exactly are you adding in here besides organic peanuts that make it not oil separate and also so shelf stable? I think this one has the latest expiration date, September 2022. How did we rate the crunch time peanut butter? BB and Co. Crunch of five. That was the worst one. I honestly Baby's think Frex. the later your expiration date is, the worse your peanut butter is, guys. I noticed another pattern. What's that? In the naturals, mm -hmm. the two lowest grades were the only ones with plastic jars. I mean, I think plastic is lighter to ship cheaper to manufacture, therefore cheaper costs means cheaper product, which means more accessible, but not always great in quality. That's just the reality of our world. Time for a fun fact. Did you know that we have two US presidents who were peanut farmers? The first one being my second favorite president in US history, Jimmy Carter, and the first being Thomas Jefferson. Uh, Thomas Jefferson wasn't a peanut farmer, his slaves were. Little addendum to your fun fact there. Less fun fact now, isn't it? Oh. Ooh, oh my gosh. How perfectly smooth that lid butter is. You all ready for round three? We're going in with the natural smooths and creamies. For this round, we have a couple of repeat brands as well as some ones that I could not find the crunchy equivalent to, so we're gonna mix up the familiar with the new. Which one do you want first, June? You're not allowed to tell me. I, I don't have a choice. No, I'm not giving you the choice. I just wanna know which one you want first. I'm not supposed to know. 
I'm not gonna give it to you necessarily. Oh. I just want to know which one you want to taste. The anticipation it kills me. This one smells good. It almost smells too oily. It almost smells a little. Does it smell like peanut butter? Yeah. That's a good start. It's a little too acidic. It's almost bordering on like, if we let this sit for eight more months, I know for sure it's gonna be rancid. It's like that kind of smell. Mmm. I like this one for smooth. Okay. Mm hmm I will always like grit. In my people, in my peanut butter, I'm gonna give this a 9.5. Ooh, starting strong. I love it. Yes. I know what this one is. What is it? 99.9% .9 Santa Cruz. I'm not gonna tell you this round. What? Number two. This one smells a little bit like nutty vomit. It smells a little bit like mustard and ketchup mixed together. Very disorienting. It smells a little bit like a gasoline station too. What's going on? Super, super smooth. Oh. Too smooth? I don't want to taste that again. Ugh. The texture is actually very nice. It's like very smooth clay, which I know doesn't sound great, but it's like muddy clay. It's like that nice creamy texture, but the taste and the smell together, kind of off-putting. The aftertaste actually tastes better. I'm left with like a very nice savory nuttiness, but whatever that body was wearing, I, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna give that one a 6.8. I'm gonna guess that was Maranatha. Okay. I, I'm writing it down. Maybe that's Brad. I don't know. I'm writing down each of your guesses for these and we'll review whether you were right at the end. Yes, number three, ready. My stomach is like at full capacity already. That was a lot of peanut butter that we just like. This one smells like a fainter version of the last, which is not great. And this one reminds me of like being on a boat in Central Park for some reason. I can start smelling some of that wet wood. I can start smelling some of that algae on the pond. Oh my God. Why is it so liquid? I take that back. This is Maranatha. I recognize this taste. The last one has got to be Brad's. It smells similar to Brad's, but this one is a lot more dirt-like. The last one had almost no grit. This one looks really smooth and oily, but when you press your tongue against your upper palate, you can feel the natural peanuts. I'm gonna give this one a solid 8.1. <sighs> Deep breath. No gasoline taste, no gasoline smell, nothing off, just pure earthy peanuts. So freaking smooth. Why? No, this doesn't taste like peanuts, y'all. It's so creamy to the point where it doesn't taste like peanut butter anymore. It just tastes like smooth, untextured sludge. It tastes like plastic wood, like laminate. That made me so sad. That gets a four. Okay, what was it? I truly don't know. I thought we got the two worst ones out of the way, the smoothest looking ones. Are you gonna guess Mary now for the third time in a row? I... I don't know, that one was just not good. I'm not even gonna guess. You gotta guess, man. That is the rules. Whoever that was, please change something about your formula. That was kind of gross. Fifth. I hope for a better bite. This one smells a little bit like coffee. It smells darker, it smells roastier, it smells borderline burnt, but not bad. Just very aged, sophisticated, matured. Sexy, sexy woman who's confident in her late 40s or early 50s. I'm gonna guess this is Smucker's. It's a little bland, it needs salt, but the texture is very nice. There's a lingering fume, fragrant fume inside of my mouth right now. It's just like peanut spiritual. 7.8 is what it feels like in my soul. Okay, number six, I'm ready. Ooh, this one smells even deeper. Now we're in a bar at night and it's classy. The lights are kind of like a violet red, but dim. The seats are velvet and leather. We got a little bit of smoke in the air from the cigarettes, but fancy cigarettes, girl, fancy. What the hell are you talking about? 
Girl, I love this peanut butter. It's crunchy. There seems to be like crystals of salt in there. It's like gritty. And you're like, whoa, is there actual grit in my peanut butter? And then you're like, no, but that's pleasant and it's disappearing. It almost feels like microscopic pop rocks in your mouth. Please tell me this is sweet Allah. You'll one. find out later. Oh, no, that's probably Santa Cruz because it's so dark roasted. Is that your final guess? Santa Cruz, yes, so delicious. For that, a 9.8. That peanut butter is transformative. Transformative, okay? Are your eyes closed? <clears throat> mm hmm. <sighs> We're back once again in the fryer oil gasoline station. Smell not as bad as the other two. Mmm. 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 This one tastes like it used adolescent peanuts. Judging by the color, it is very light. This is a clue. What frightens me is that we haven't picked one that is Sweet Ella yet. So which one did I give the bad score to? You think you gave four to Sweet Ella's? No. No, no. You'll find out soon. This one is delicious. I'm gonna give this one a nine. I really don't know. I f***ed myself over with my guesses. I truly don't know which one that is. But I guess that one should go to Cozy, Sweet Ella's, because that one is a solid one. Oh, the last one is Ella's. Yes, the first and the last one you got right. Oh, amazing. Wait, I gave Smuckers a 9.8? Smuckers was the best. Smuckers oh, is the shit. best peanut butter. I gave a four to Maranatha. That is the lowest one by far. Wow, uh, I'm shocked. What shocks me about these natural peanut butters is how different are the peanuts that you're using? that if all the ingredients you're using is peanuts and or salt, that they taste this different from each other. It's also really surprising is the color difference. Absolutely mind-blowing. I guess it depends on the degree to which you're roasting your peanuts and also what kind of peanuts that you use because fun fact, there are apparently four different kinds of peanuts that are traditionally used for peanut butter. According to the National Peanut Board, the four types of peanuts are runner, Virginia, Spanish, and Valencia. So who knows what these brands are using. We have made it to the last round. I'm no longer Julia, because Julia would not be such a wimp. But fourth round, get ready for some fancy PB. For our fancies, I found some Stonewall Kitchen peanut butters. They were expensive, guys. $17.99 for each of these jars. They better be damn good. We also have some New Zealand transplants from Fix and Fog. Finally, this one isn't too fancy. It was maybe six bucks or so, but I figured we'd throw in something called the wow butter because is it actually wow? This in fact is not peanut butter. It is a peanut free soy butter alternative and it's specially made to go into kids lunch boxes for schools that prohibit you from taking in peanut butter just in case you accidentally trigger another kid's peanut allergies. I've never had soy butter before. I do like soybeans, but is it actually wow? I'm very, very interested to see that in the ingredients list, they list palm oil and then parentheses sustainable. That sounds like a good thing. Why guys? Why? Do you, I'm asking you actually, do you use your own product? Like, Ooh, this smells like olive oil. Is this, without even tasting it or seeing it, is this the everything butter? No. I would be very surprised if this were the soy butter, but I have a feeling it is. You think there's no peanuts in that? There probably is. You're right, actually. <laughs> I just hope that fancier peanut butters tasted not like this. It doesn't taste like what I think of classic peanut butter. There's less of that straight earthiness and dirtiness and more of um, a vinegary taste, a vinegary curve. I'm just not a fan of it. I'll give it a seven. Okay. What do you think that was? Was that Fix and Fox super crunchy? In which case I'm kind of disappointed, not gonna lie. It's a little oily for me. Hmm, it reminds me of a faint pasta salad bar. I think this is Stonewall. Stonewall Witch. Crunchy, obviously. Obviously. I don't like how liquidy the butter is. 
and then how crunchy, crunchtastic the peanuts are. Really nice, but the contrast is a little steep. Mm -hmm. It's nice and fragrant, don't get me wrong, but that peanut butter almost tastes like I could drink it. I don't think it's $18 good, but it's, I mean, it's not better than Smucker's. And I'm just not crazy about it. And let's be honest, guys, $18, I could make eight meals out of that. What's your rating? 7.5. Okay. Ooh, this is coffee, isn't it? Mmm. Smells like breakfast on a camping trip, which I've never gone on. And it smells like I have the most picture perfect white nuclear family. Wow, chunky. Whoa. <laughs> your face changed completely. <laughs> what is, what's going on in your head right that now? That is here? soy butter. Yes. It tastes yeah, you like can soy open beans. Your eyes now. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit creepy, guys. It definitely doesn't taste like peanut butter. It tastes like soy nuts with sugar, which isn't to say I hate it. I don't hate it, but I actually like it better than some of the peanut butters that we've had. So I'm gonna give this a flat six. All right, I'm gonna need a big palate cleanser for that one. Hmm. I'm not getting much of a smell from this one. Ooh, crunchy. This is the everything butter. Yes. I feel all the seeds in there. It kind of feels like the cross between a granola and a peanut butter. The flax is nice, it's nutty. Everything in there makes me feel like I'm trying to be better about eating. If you like chewing, if you like textural surprises, that's a good one to try. Otherwise, I think it's a little bit unseasoned. Right now, texturally, very exciting, taste-wise. Yeah. I'll give that one a 7.2, just for being very different. Hit me with the next one. Okay. Also not getting a very strong smell from this one, actually. Vaguely nutty. Very light smell. Um, I have a feeling this is Fix and Fog's chunky one. Oh, but it's not chunky. Stonewall creamy. Yeah. I don't know guys, this literally just don't taste that much like peanut butter to it me. It don't. It's drippy like peanut butter, it looks like peanut butter, it has the texture of peanut butter, it just don't taste like it. I'm very disappointed in you. My gut feeling is to give a 5.8 maybe. I mean honestly I think I gave it a 5.8 just because of how expensive it is and how my brain's yeah. like it should be that good. I don't even think it's worth a 5.8 honestly guys, my first instinct was to give it a 5. All right, it's gotta be the special flavors, right? Yeah, down to two special flavors, and there's no way you're gonna get these wrong. That's coffee, yes. right away. Okay, this actually smells like good coffee, not camping coffee that was made in a tin over the fire, slightly burnt. Oh man, it's beautiful. It's like so silky, shiny, speckled with coffee dots. It smells like fancy coffee ice cream, actually. Mmm. Ooh. Did we find a winner? That is delicious. Look at that texture, though. It's drippy, but it's not dripping. It's luscious. That is killer good. I'm going to give it a 8.9. It's not really reading peanut butter to me. It's reading dessert topping. Best for last. I didn't. I don't even need to taste it. I haven't tasted it yet. I don't care. I already know. This is the goat. This is the LeBron James. This is the Tom Brady peanut We're butter. We're not cool. We're old. You don't need to do all the meme tastic calls. Tom Brady's old too. Mmm. It smells a little bit like smoked ancho chilies. Just the faintest bit. It's not very strong at all. I expected based off of the color that this would be strong, but very mild. Whoa. Straight off the bat, I wish there was more smoke in this. It's called smoke and fire. I'm getting embers. I'm not getting the fire. I'm not getting the smoke. The first second that it enters my mouth, I don't taste anything. And then about three to four seconds in, as I start chewing and spreading it around on my tongue and the creaminess goes all over, yes. that slow heat from the peppers start spreading like wildfire. It's a very picturesque one that your, you know, art house cinematographer captures, and it's like in the distance, 
glowing in the dark. You don't hear the screams of the terrified wildlife. It's not exciting, it's just there. Honestly, not a fan of this one. It's not very exciting. I don't really taste the peanut butter aspect of it. So I'm gonna have to give this one a six. <sighs> very disappointing round. Sometimes more expensive just really isn't better, guys. Yeah, Stonewall, uh, what the hell are you guys doing with your pricing? What, what are you putting into this peanut butter? What, what labor is going into this that, uh, that isn't going into other peanut butter? Your workers better be making a million dollars a year, the people who are making that peanut butter for that price. Seriously. <laughs> like, what's going on? Guys, we ate a lot of peanut butter today. Thank you so much for humoring me. Julia, thank you for letting me borrow your wonderful identity for a day. I really enjoyed tasting all of these peanut butters. As you saw, a lot of the splurges were not worth it. Some of them were, and some of them just were big disappointments. Keep your expectations low and let the mundane surprise you.